Bisson. I'm from Morris County Communications in New Jersey. Also, I'm Dennis Snyder, also from Morris County, New Jersey. Okay, uh, we're a communications agency only. Uh, we have no responsibility to a law enforcement agency. Uh, we communicate and dispatch and take calls for over 39 different municipalities uh, within Morris County, New Jersey, uh, just about 30 miles outside of New York City. So a couple years ago, we, uh, one of our operations coordinators uh, researched and found some equipment that could be installed at a dispatch console for training or exercise equipment. Uh, we have treadmill and a bike and they're specifically designed to be set up at a dispatch console. They can't go you know, very fast, uh, but it was kind of a push with a little bit of uh, health related, you know, in the communications environment tends to be a sedentary job. So you know, a little bit of health um, in a way that we could incorporate it into the job. They can actually work at the dispatch console, so it's not a break. Uh, we have you know, some uh, restrictions in place about workload and making sure that you have everything set up at that desk, but they're fully functional so you don't have to you know, have uh, relief for that and kind of uh, incorporates a little bit of health into the job that tends to be you know, a sedentary job. We got some buy-in from it from our county administration uh, when they were looking for uh, ways to reduce uh, sickness within the, the county and the agency. Uh, and improve health amongst employees. Uh, so anything they can do to you know, save cost on that end uh, was a plus for them. So it allowed us to actually hire, uh, bring in two treadmills and two bicycles. Uh, not very expensive, I think in total $7,000 at most uh, with the policies driven and has been a very uh, good response from our uh, PSTs. Well, I think it um, it sets up, you know, we obviously follow all the standards and what we need to accomplish and incorporate into our policies and procedures. And then, you know, the proofs of compliance help you say, you know, we're actually doing this. And, you know, having an outside body uh, looking over that, make sure we, you know, stay on our toes and, and fulfill all those requirements, um, you know, reducing liability and, helping to make our agency better for the clients that we serve and the community that we serve and even helping give our dispatchers you know, the framework of what we're expecting from them. Uh, and if it's done properly, it gets buy-in from the, the newest dispatcher, all the way up to the most seasoned, seasoned dispatcher, because uh, it gives them a little bit of a badge of honor that they can say that they have been accredited and are a part of that process, again, as long as it's implemented properly. Um, it also has an agency uh, allows us to uh, set the bar pretty high. Okay, we all know that employees will only rise to the level of the bar that you set, and the accreditation process allows you to set the bar where you want it and show that as an agency and as management, this is what you expect. Okay, and allows them to say, okay, that's the goal I can shoot for. Because if we don't set the bar high enough, they're all going to go that high. Well, I think the, the first uh, hurdle you have to get over from the, the PSTs is what's in it for me. Okay, um, that's probably the first hurdle. And when you explain it and you drive it, you know, continuously and from a level to where it's going to help them, uh, you'll get better buy-in. And you include them in it. You roll them in because they're a big part of it. Uh, don't you know, make it a top-down initiative. You know, have it come up from the bottom. Let the PSTs get involved. Let them look at policies, see what they're actually doing, because they're the people on the ground. They're doing it. Are we actually doing it this way? So involving you know PSTs at the lowest level to middle management to senior management on the floor to administrative management. I think a, a good model to follow would be senior management, administrative management. It, it's the steerer, but allow the people underneath them to actually drive it.